Okay, in this lesson I'm going to apply a texture to a uniformed area and have it tile in one section of your mesh. Okay, so we're going to grab the demo head. Okay, and in the demo head, I'm going to just click and drag it out and hit edit. Uh, immediately I want to change the material to a fast shader 5. This is not important, but it's easier to see this way. So, uh, MRGB, color, fill object. This fills that object with that material and color. Uh, my tool palette needs to be mounted over here. Okay, there we go. And geometry. We're going to lower it all the way down. Go to texture, enable UVs. After I enable UVs, I'm going to go down here to UV tile. Okay, now whenever I apply a texture to it, you can see it branches that UV tile in an area and keeps repeating based on this material. So if the material is kind of like this, it, in the overall scheme of things, it looks kind of like a shirt if you get close enough to it. And it's a weird example, I know. But let's take off the texture and let's go to this, make it all the way up, divide it a couple more times. The higher the resolution, the better this will look. Okay, so in this cheek region, what I'm going to do is go to Layer, take off the Add, take Vocal Shift all the way down to negative 100, hold Control and click, and it will make a mask. So I only want to apply this new tiled area to this section of the mesh. Okay, so I'm going to go over to masking and hit inverse. I'm going to go to texture, grab that texture. Colors from texture. It applies it only to that section. Also why that is actually installed in this area, I can then go to the deformation tab and also to the masking tab. Let's go get that open. So many tabs. Okay, mask by intensity. Okay, that masks off this area right here because it is the darkest. So I'm going to inverse it and it masks off him. Okay, now a lot of times this doesn't cover everything on the model. And as you can see, I have both on both sides here, okay? Because I had my um, mirroring on when I drew the mask. All right, so now that it's masked off, I can go to inflate, and I can inflate by maybe negative 20. Okay, and clear the mask. So now I not only have the new material, the new texture, and now the bump in that area. And it kind of looks like a different material, a uh, different, like a shirt material at attached to his cheek. Okay, so that's how you add texture uniformly to an object. Enjoy!